How's it going everybody? Um, I wanted to make a video uh, about the recent patch. Um, it did affect Jade Harvester quite a bit, um, both in an extremely good way and a pretty bad way. Um, the build is definitely not dead and still viable. I'm going to show you some gameplay here in a second, but I want to talk about exactly what happened. Um, what they did was they're taking an average of your critical hit damage and you know averaging it out um, with your non crits so uh, critical hit chance is also taken into account so it's not as simple as you know your minimum damage without a crit averaged with your highest damage you know if you were to have 60 percent crit chance you know it's not a perfect conversion um, so the best way to describe what happened is before what would happen is I'd haunt a mob, an enemy, and it would tick for 3 mil, 4 mil. And then if I haunt the enemy and it crits, now it's ticking for 13, 14, 15 mil. Depending on the buffs, depending on, you know, damage amplification, uh, knockback effects, doing 26% more damage. Um, so that changes the damages a little bit, but that's a huge difference. When I harvest a 3 mil tick, versus a 14 mil tick it's significantly much more damage and uh, Blizzard said that it was so inconsistent they didn't like the way it played um, there were a lot of people that complained about this as well so what they did is they, they're taking an average um, I don't know the exact calculations of how they're working it um, of your crit chance and hit critical hit damage into account for when they make an average damage And as you can see in here, I'm not going to be hitting 3 mils for my ticks. I'm not going to be hitting 14 mils. I'm sitting right at about anywhere 8, eight to 11, depending on the buffs. So what this means is clearing trash is so much easier. It just dies because you're a minimum crit. I'm sorry, a minimum tick without a crit sometimes was not enough to kill a trash mob. You'd have to get a crit with your locust swarm or your haunt. Now, pretty much anything you put on them kills the trash mobs, which takes up a lot of your time. The downside is you can't f what we call used to call fish for crits and, you know, see if it crit um, to get that big damage on an elite pack. You're just kind of stuck with that average damage. Which is still cool because you don't have to waste time fishing for crits. You can just apply your haunt, apply your locust swarm, and just go to town on them. See, everything dies. Um, I never have to worry about if it actually had a crit on it or not. So... That's that's definitely really nice and I have to worry about fishing for crits. The white trash dies almost instantly. Um, the elite packs do take a little bit longer because you can't get that insane damage on them. But you still get really good damage. And in some ways the elite packs go faster because you don't have to worry about getting four crits on four different elites. They're all just going to have the exact same averaged out damage which is still fairly high. There's definitely nothing to really worry about when it comes to the Jade Harvester build. You don't get to hit those 1.5 bill crits with a, um, a Harrington Waste Guard proc, with a Globe Dogger giving you a boost, with a 5 out of 5, you know, Soul Harvest. You don't get to do that insane stuff anymore. Which is kind of a bummer. That was part of the fun, is seeing those gigantic numbers. But instead of you know sometimes hitting huge numbers and sometimes hitting sh real shitty numbers we always hit good numbers now which is I think a good improvement for the build like Blizzard wanted to do it adds a lot more consistency so I don't know if you want to call this a nerf I don't know if you want to call this a buff but I just took down a T5 uh, half of his health in one one swing here 
and you see the elite packs are still going down real fast. Here's another one. See, two shot. Um, in groups with like a pet doctor, you know. Um, single target damage is where this guy is going to be hurting a little bit more than what he used to. In these big mobs like this, everything's just going to die. Your cooldown's going to refresh instantly. You're going to be doing insane damage. And if you're not paying attention and you're making a video, you die sometimes. So you gotta wait for your cooldown, or let this guy spawn some maggots. And it really feels a lot more like a damage over time setup, because the average damage, you know, you don't have to worry about if you're if you're a locust swarm crit or not. It's doing um, some good damage. Which is also really helpful for bounties when you have to clear like 150 enemies. You don't have to worry about if that locust swarm that's hitting everything is a crit or not. It's gonna kill everything. Especially on lower torments. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, you've seen me kill a bunch of elites. You've seen me kill um, huge trash mobs. Um, Jade Harvester is still kicking some ass, and it's definitely not nerfed. If anything, uh, I would say it's an improvement. I enjoy killing the white trash a lot faster. Um, the trash mobs. <laughs> white trash, nice. Um, and, you know, the, the extra bit of time it takes to kill an elite pack is balanced out by the fact you don't have to spend time fishing for crits. I can just apply my hunt, apply my locust swarm, go to town, kite, you know, start proccing Harrington Wasteguard by opening some stuff, reapply, kill.